Hi guys, right, I'm going to put a question to you. Do you go for maintenance appointments with the therapist that you choose to see? Now this could be the osteopath, a chiropractor, or a physio, massage therapist, acupuncture, you name it, whatever the therapy is. Do you go to have maintenance appointments? Now a maintenance appointment, why would you go to maintain something? If you're not feeling 100% and you want to feel better, you want to be making progress. And so with maintenance appointments, you're maintaining the standard that you're at now. Um, one of the things that I see a lot in people is that you want to keep going with the person that you started with. And sometimes we feel obliged to because we don't want to leave. We don't want to stop something that we've started into because we feel committed to it or we don't want to let that person down. Now, from my standpoint as a therapist, I need to see you making progress within four sessions. And that's not to say that things are perfectly fixed, but they need to be well on that way towards it. And after those four sessions, if I haven't made the progress that I expect with you, then I would start looking around at either completely different options for what we're doing, reevaluate the whole situation so that we're doing something different, or maybe I know somebody who could help. And I think that's a really healthy relationship to have in terms of the um, therapist and client or therapist and patient. Um, you need to have that expectation that you are improving, not maintaining. And if you feel that you're not making progress with something, don't be afraid to put your hand up and sort of say, look, you know, I'm not really getting a benefit out of this. It's maybe lasting for a day or two, a week or so, and then it goes off again. And then... You've got, you've got to wait till that next appointment. And you should be seeing progress from one appointment through to the next. The other aspect really is, is that you want to take an active approach in it. In order to have an active approach and help yourself as well, you need to understand what you're dealing with. And if you don't feel that you're getting that information from the person you see, they're not able to explain it to you in a way that you understand, or they're not having the time to explain it to you, then again, you want to look around for somebody else. After four sessions, if I haven't made progress with somebody, then I start thinking about reevaluating because I want what's best for you and it doesn't do me any good to keep seeing somebody month after month after month and not really making any progress. So think twice about who you go to and I'm not saying you choose me, but just in general, I hope that this little video has made you think twice about how you're doing with your own therapy progress and maybe about critically thinking about making another decision. You know, we are creatures of habit. We love getting into a routine that feels comfortable and going to the office that you go to for your appointments or online at the moment, the way we are. Um, you know, it feels easy because you know the person at the other end, you know what's going to happen. It feels really hard going to somebody new and not really knowing what to expect. It's a little bit like starting at a new school as a kid, isn't it? Um, but I think that if you want to make progress, you've got to be pretty ruthless about it. You've got to choose based on the fact that you're making that progress or you're not making that progress and you need a change. And so you need to look after yourself, but also um, keep in mind that you need to put that time in as well. Because quite often when you're coming in for an, a into a maintenance appointment, you might feel great for those couple of days to a week and then it starts to wear off. And so obviously there's something in your body that's kind of resetting back to old patterns. And so the only way you can move forward is having a series of movements or exercises or something that you have to follow at home that allows you to keep making progress rather than waiting until that next appointment. So I encourage you all to be really active in your own recovery, but I also encourage you to think critically about who you're going to see. Don't settle for maintaining an appointment and uh, maintaining in an appointment. Let's just get better. So take care. I know it's a little off what I normally do. I normally have videos showing you various things and I hope you're finding them helpful. Do make sure you leave me some comments so I know what you'd like to see in future. So hit like, hit subscribe and see you soon.